So if you've ever wanted to know how to make Canadian bacon at home, then today is your lucky day. In fact, if you've ever thought that making Canadian bacon at home was difficult, then you'd be wrong again. Seriously though, guys, the only thing difficult about making Canadian bacon at home is the days that you're gonna have to wait while this thing is clogging up the room in your refrigerator and your wife's gonna be constantly nagging you like, get this piece of pork out of here. And the only other thing I would say that might be difficult, and it's really not, is finding the pink curing salt that you're gonna need to put in this bad boy. But you can get it on Amazon. Uh, I got this from, uh, I don't know, it's called Gourmet Imports. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can purchase this on Amazon. Maybe some place uh, that you live will will have it in your area. You'll just have to see. So uh, let's get to making some bacon. So we're gonna need one gallon of water for this recipe. So pro tip guys, start out with about four cups of water to, uh, to heat up so we can melt these ingredients down. Don't use the whole gallon, all right? Probably common sense, but hey. All right, one cup of brown sugar one cup of regular white sugar, three quarters of a cup of kosher salt, one tablespoon of uh, pink salt or uh, prag, prag powder or I think they call it Instacure number one, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. <clears throat> now this recipe uh, uh, derived from Pop's brine recipe. I think the difference being is it's uh, got three quarters of a cup of salt in this recipe and the uh, maple syrup is different. I think normally his would call for uh, molasses and also uh, one cup of salt instead of three quarters of a cup. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this dissolved, and we'll be back with you. So we got everything heated up and dissolved up nicely. Okay, here I got my uh, 12 cups of water. Remember that we need a gallon, so this is 12. Now we're going to op uh, add in this other four cups of heated. All right. We'll just get a stir and you'll probably see I may have a little bit of floating particles on there. That's from uh, some parsley that's in with my garlic. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this cool down some. We're going to actually put it in the refrigerator and uh, before we put our uh, pork in there. Okay, guys, now it goes in our pork loin here. Now this is a two and a half pound or just over two and a half pound pork loin there. I think I'm gonna put like a saucer on top of there just to weigh it down. But anyway, this is a uh, two, uh, just over a two and a half pound pork loin. I did buy a five pound pork loin. It actually come two, but I was gonna do them both, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try this recipe out first and maybe the next one we'll, we'll make some changes. All right, I'm just gonna take this saucer and just kind of lay it on top like that. Okay, now that we know that thing will fit in there without floating up, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and inject this with our uh, brine here just to make sure that everything goes. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, I mean, it's pretty thin, so I'm going to go in just part of the way down. Just squeeze it, inject it until we get some bubbling up. And then I'm going to go, I don't know, probably about every inch. All right, I think one more time will do us. I was right. And I'm just kind of going in all d directions here. No real, no rhyme or reason, dudes. Looks like liposuction. Looks like liposuction. But backwards. All right, that that's gonna do us. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back in here. Put our saucer over the top again. Put 
the lid on it there. All right, we'll see you guys in about 14 days. So it's not been 14 days. We are on day 12 right now. I got to thinking about this and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have a look at it and then I'm going to slice a piece off and I'm gonna rinse this really well first. Then I'm gonna slice a piece off and I'm gonna fry it up just to see what the saltiness level is. I was a little bit worried that it may get too salty. So we're gonna see how it tastes. If it's not too salty and it's just right, we'll go ahead and we'll throw this on our smoker. If it's a little bit too salty, then I'm gonna soak it for a little while. So you guys are getting to look at this firsthand because I have not looked at this yet. So let's see. Um, it doesn't really look much different. Maybe a little pink in there. Um, doesn't really look much different than it did when I put it in there. So, uh, all right, let's slice a piece off and see what we got. All right, there's our slice piece. Uh, a little bit pinker inside, it looks like. Now, we want to say this. This is it's very uh, firm, I would say. So, not really much difference in color on the outside, but as you get into the inner, you can see that pinkness. And it's definitely a lot more firm than it was when we first put it in there. All right, so uh, let's go uh, let's go fry this piece up. Oh yeah. I'm about ready to try this bad boy out. So the weather is crap today, so I don't know about the lighting, but here we go. Let's see if we can. Looks good. Looks good. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. That's perfect. Mm. All right. A little saltiness, not overly salty. Um, the sugar's coming through, so I'm getting a little bit of sweetness. So that remember that was the end of what I cut off. So I'm wondering. I think I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it, but I am worried that in the center that it may be less salty because this right here is like the perfect amount of saltiness but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the smoker so go ahead and get that fired up and I'll be back with you in a minute so I do want to mention I put two chunks of apple wood on top of the coals in the pit barrel cooker that's all we're doing so the pit barrel is coming up to temp here we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this on and set that in there. Now I am monitor, going to be monitoring the temp with my uh, Inkbird thermometer. And all we're looking for, guys, is 145 degrees. <clears throat> all right, I'm I'm a, I'm guessing it's probably going to take you know an hour to two hours. Let me put the lid on this and <clears throat> finish talking here. All right, so <clears throat> what I'm guessing is it's going to take about an hour to two hours maybe to get it up to 145. Uh, that's just a guessment. I'm going to try to keep this pit, uh, the pit barrel cooker here, at about 325 degrees. And the reason why I'm cooking it or want to cook it so high is I want to kind of move past that stall. I don't want it to stall because from what I read is if it reaches a stall, then it could dry the uh, Canadian bacon out and we don't want that so we're gonna run it try to run it at 325 ish I don't know uh, if I can keep the pit barrel cooker uh, running that low because it tends to ride a little a uh, little bit higher but anyway we'll see and I'll let you know how we go all right I'm not gonna look at this for till it reaches 145 so it looks like we hit 145 Looking nice Go ahead and probe it a couple of times here. All right, I'm gonna call it. All 
looks nice. All right, let's take it inside and let it rest. Which side should I cut first? Okay. All right, you ready? So we've been letting this rest for about 15 minutes. It looks fantastic. Now, guys do realize that this is Canadian bacon. It's not going to look like you, you know, like we smoked a pork butt without the bark, you know, with the bark and all that. That's So that's why it looks a little different. All right, let's... Uh... Wow. Look at that. That's beautiful, huh? Smells delicious. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, mm, that's delicious here. All right, salty, but not overly salty. Came out nice. So, okay, so remember guys, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but this is a uh, similar recipe to the Pops brine that he used. It's slightly different. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the blog where you can go get a printable version of this recipe. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please hit that subscribe button now. And again, guys, how to make Canadian bacon at home. Do it.